Well, this is Dr. Stan. I guess the ghost is Bob Chapman, the international forecaster. And Bob is simply saying that uh, he thinks that uh, we're going to have some very real problems, that they're running up the stock market at the present time on a low volume. Now, when the market goes up on a low volume, it means it's being artificially run up. In other words, they're manipulating the stock market. It's being done probably by the Working Group on Financial Markets, the Plunge Protection Team, because the elections are coming up in November, and they want people to feel good about what's going on. But they have nothing to feel good about because the economy it continues contracting, even though they've started to try to loan money to some of the more, uh, you know, certainly more stable but small businesses. They're not about to borrow money. Uh, They're frightened that that they don't know what the future holds. They're concerned about all the government regulations, Obamacare, the fact that everybody who, you know, buys anything more than $600 is going to have to submit a 1099 form. You're going to have to get the Social Security number of everybody you do business with and turn in forms on all of them, you know, if you're buying anything from them over $600. How, How do you think much that's going to cost? every business in this country, but they're really trying to wreck our economy with regulations and OSHA and EPA and all of these other gov- government corporations, uh, businesses, I should say, agencies that are harassing our people. That's why uh, companies are just closing down or moving overseas. Our telephone number, if you'd like to talk to Bob, one triple eight two four liberty one triple eight two four liberty or 464-8295. And they really want to harass the American people. This is not bureaucratic ineptitude. They know exactly what they're doing. They just don't want the American people to know. Our number, one triple eight two four liberty or 464-8295. And they've got Bob calling from Ohio. Hi, Bob from Ohio. Hi, Dr. Stan. How are you doing today? Doing just fine. Go ahead. Uh, I have, a, I have a, a comment and then a question for uh, Mr. Chapman. Over the weekend, I heard two shows, one coming out of Cleveland and one coming out of Chicago, through about three or four hours, with 10 to 15 Tea Party people calling in, and I'd never heard them express themselves before. And the most interesting thing that they all, or 80% of the 10 or 15 people said was, the reason we got involved because Washington is not listening to us. And I thought that was very, very, very interesting that they keep saying the same word. In other words, the, the Republicans and Democrats won't even listen to us they didn't even say we're disagreeing with the policies. They, they won't even listen to us. So having said that, I heard something about 10 minutes ago, and I wanted to see what Bob thought about this, because he always uses the phrase, in the streets. And I wanted to see what he thought about this. Bob, they're talking about running or er, er, ramming through in a lame duck session this um, uh, immig- immigration bill through, uh, you know, if the Democrats get out of power. I know that they, they They're going to attach it to the... Um, military uh, appropriations Military bill. spending. The dream bill is what they call am, it. Am, am, am I crazy, Bob? Or, or I think you've said this in the past on various shows. Couldn't this possibly put people in the streets if they try to do something like this? Possibly, but I don't. I don't. They're, they're not hungry enough yet. And uh, they're not alienated enough to fight. And the thing is that most of the people in the Tea Party are good people, but they don't understand the system is rigged. They don't understand. The both political parties are controlled by the same people that we have, an invisible government, and nobody wants to talk about that. They'll talk about things. Go ahead. Can I make one last comment? Sure, go ahead. When When I heard these people talk, I said to myself, you know, there's no talking about issues anymore, although we love talk radio, because... They, they were really profound in what they said. If these, if these, none, of these, none of these parties are going to listen, there's no use of even talking anymore if they're not going to listen to the American public. I think that's where we're at right now. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And, uh, thanks so much for calling, Bob. Okay. Our, our telephone number is one triple eight two four liberty one triple eight two four liberty or 464-8295. Yeah, i got a question for Bob. People have to understand that freedom is not free. And if you're not involved, you're part of the problem. Yes, we've got to be involved in politics, but we've got to get people to understand that there's an invisible government out there that rigs the elections in many instances, but we can still get honest people elected if we're there and we insist on having paper ballots and we are there watching the votes counted. And, of course, as uh, you know, Stalin once said, it's not, oh, how people vote that counts. It's who counts the votes that counts. 
And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to get involved, and you can get involved, and you've got to start organizing your own community. Not look for some a national organization to save us, because, of course, they're already taking over the teapot. They've got Newt Gingrich there. They've got Sarah Palin there. And they're giving her lots of money, so she'll go along with her. They've given her a program on Fox. Fox is controlled by Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch comes from the Council on Foreign Relations. They control the right. They control the left. They control the Republicans, they control the Liberals, or they control the Democrats. They play this thing, and they they know exactly what they're doing. But we've got to let the American people know, and you the ones are going to have to do it. Our number is one triple eight two four Liberty, one triple eight two four Liberty, or four six four eight two nine five. Give us a call for Bob. Yeah, this is Dr. Stan. I guess is Bob Chapman, the international forecaster. Bob, before we go on, and we have Annette calling from West Virginia, and we got a full board of callers. Why I want you to tell our listeners how they can get in touch with you, get a free copy of the International Forecaster, and subscribe to it. And why should they subscribe? Well, the International Forecast is about business, finance, economics, and social and political issues. And anything that you need to know every week is in that publication. All the things that you don't see or hear in the major media. Uh, you can get a free introductory copy by going to bob at intforecaster.com. That's bob at intforecaster.com. And that email address, you can also send questions, which we answer for everyone. Uh, you can go to theinternationalforecaster.com, theinternationalforecaster.com. You can also go to www.intforecaster.com, that's I-N-T, forecaster.com, or you can call 800-375-4188, that's toll-free, 800-375-4188. We publish by email on Wednesdays and Saturdays, runs around 40 pages each time, and we also have a hard copy that goes out twice a month, and everything you need to know is in that publication. Okay, fine. Well, let's go to Annette calling us from West Virginia. Hi, Annette. How are you doing? Oh, not bad. Thank you. Um, Bob, thank you so much for continuing to inform uh, everyone, and also, uh, Dr. Monty, that what you're doing is is phenomenal. Actually, uh, the American people realize that something is wrong, and many of, many of them haven't even gotten into uh, inquiry as to the roots, the, the, the political roots of the problem. But really, the roots are spiritual. We, and, and Dr. Monty, both of you really know this, that there is literally uh, a, a satanic spiritual cabal uh, which is behind this. But there are seed lines. And I, I, if you don't mind, I would like to give two websites which would go into uh, the specifics. Well, I, um, I really would want to sort of know what they are. Maybe you could send me an email and get me those, and then we could uh, see if they because there's a lot of out there that are going to tell us it's all the Jews or it's all the Jesuits or all the Catholics or it's all the Masons. And, of course, basically most Jews don't even know what this is about. Or some of them do. Some of them are in, in, integral part of this. But uh, I appreciate so much your calling and everything you're saying, Annette. I agree with you. This is a satanic conspiracy. Bob, would you agree? Absolutely. All right, Annette. God bless you. But you send me those, uh, those, and we'll be glad to uh, to look at them. Uh, and of course, you can send it to. Uh, well, anyway, I've, I'll put you on hold. Let you talk to my um, my producer and uh, and get her uh, those websites. Okay. That would be helpful. Fine. You hang on there, and uh, hopefully my uh, secretary will pick that up. My um, producer uh, again. Our number is one triple eight two four Liberty. One triple eight two four Liberty or four six four eight two nine five, and uh, we've got Dave calling from Texas again. Our number one eight hundred two five one eight hundred one triple eight two four Liberty. One triple eight two four Liberty. Hi, Dave from t- Texas. How are you doing? Good afternoon, uh, uh, Dr. Stan. It's good to talk to you and Bob again. I have a question for Bob about to talk about the debate on tax cuts. What does Bob think would be the significance of the difference between whether or not the tax cuts were extended for only those at or below 250000 a year 
or if they're extended for everyone without any income limit. What do you think the difference on the economy would be going forward as he sees it? Well, the upper tier makes most of the money. Uh, they do spend more freely, but not as much as uh, they should or we'd like them to. And uh, so they're great, great wealth accumulators because of the large amounts that they make. Um, I don't think it, it is a, an important fact. I, I see uh, some of the politicians coming out to continue those cuts for those people that make over 250000 a year. But uh, I, I, I'm not against them cutting it. I certainly uh, can't see cutting it out overall because it will throw us right into a depression. And, you know, that's going to happen sooner or later. So if they did not renew the tax cuts for everyone, we go into depression. If they don't renew them for the rich, we'll call them, uh, and, but they do renew them for the average person, uh, it won't have too much impact. And uh, what will go on to Congress remains to be seen, but the rich are very powerful. they got a lot of money. So they're going to want to buy everybody, but so I think the thing, uh, the, the whole thing will stay the same. Okay. Anything else, there, Dave? Okay, I might have a follow-up there, if I might, since Bob brought it up. If he thinks we might go into depression, uh, is he fears? I've heard him say in the past that if it hits, it could last quite a long time. And if that were to happen over many years, how in the longer term does, does Bob see that affecting the economy? What does he think the, the average? person's economic situation would look like a few years out from that if we get into a hard and long-term depression, God forbid, but if that happens. Oh, I think it's inevitable. I don't think there's any way to avoid it. And it's already been proven that throwing money at the problem during the 30s and then again just recently under Bush and then under uh, Mr. Obama uh, has accomplished zero. And so where do we go from here? Well, we'll probably have another war. Where will it be? I don't know, but they'll have one. And uh, on top of that, uh, they uh, will, in part, try to increase employment. But at the same time they're doing that, they're, they're continuing to rush jobs out of the country. And so there's, there's no real resurrection, so to speak, of uh, the economy. And, uh, and, and, and there's not going to be, as Dan said earlier. They're not going to even attempt that. They want this whole thing to go down in a heap, but they want it go, to go down within their timing structure. And that's why, you, you know, you can't say when it's going to happen. So over the next year or two, if they have quantitative easing, which I think the odds are odds on that they will, the economy will go sideways, maybe slightly higher, and that's it. The gold and silver will go through the roof. The stock market will probably, on the near term, trade higher, but I think it'll come out of the pressure uh, eventually, uh, probably uh, during November even, and uh, in through the rest of the uh, uh, the rest of the uh, the year coming. And so uh, I, I don't expect that we're going to see any improvement. And uh, we we might also see the uh, uh, the economy start to really fail. And the reason why is I think the situation in Europe is going to get a lot worse. And uh, one of the things is that uh, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, Greece. I mean, they had more riots today. And uh, the wealthy who are not behind the government are saying, look, we want, we want the uh, government overthrown. And I know that the military forces in the U.S. Embassy are in high alert. Now, they expect something might happen. And so um, uh, that could be a catalyst because if Greece says, no, we're not going to pay our debts, we're going to get rid of the euro, and... Uh, all the other things that are necessary. Uh, the other near-bankrupt countries, Ireland, Portugal, Spain, Italy, they'll do the same thing. Uh, 